What is up, YouTube? What is up, family? We are going down the sing-off journey by this uh, this group called uh, Pentatonics. You ever hear of them? Yeah, they're pretty good. They go by PTX, and yeah, of course you know who they are. Anyway, this is the third performance. So they're going to do Peace of My Heart by Janis Joplin. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's check it out. I mean, already, I call them baby PTX at this time because they were number babies, but already showing the world what they what they were gonna become, and God, what they have become. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, let's go. I love the '60s. I think I was born in the wrong time. I could not agree with you more. I have the same weird feeling that I should have been in the '50s slash '60s always said to myself i would have loved to be a kid growing up in that era man would have been amazing i just have this feeling how times have changed right you know what i bet you in the 50s 60s you didn't turn on the news and i guarantee you didn't hear you know if you heard about a shooting it was probably about like mob gang slash related you know back in those days they might even in Shit, I was even in the 40s, maybe. Al Capone, you know, that that era. Where, where, But listen, you know what my point is? I bet you you didn't turn the radio on and hear about a school mass shooting, a mass shooting in a church, a mass shooting in a shopping mall. It's almost like humans were just smarter back in the 50s and 60s. They just knew better. I don't know. Kids were raised outside, played Baseball, football, basketball, tag, you know, things you do outdoors. I don't know. Instead of staring at an apple all day long. And I don't mean the apple you eat. Anyway, listen. It is what it is. Unfortunately, I was not born in that time. So I can't, maybe some of you have, and you could actually confirm what I'm saying. I just have a feeling it was just an overall better time let's just talk about the 50s and 60s for 30 minutes shall we no okay let me just play let's just hit play get my mind back into the music we are not from the 60s but we've been doing our research was woodstock in the 60s yes yeah. was it Jimi hendrix yes yeah. Was the who in the 60s too? Yes. Yeah. One love, James Taylor, Dusty Springfield, and Sam and Dave. It's an incredibly rich experimental time because if the rules got kind of thrown out the window. You're not playing standards anymore. You're inventing a new sound. One, two, three, four. In the 60s, you didn't have the digital technology that we have today. You didn't have auto tune. It really relied on, on voices a lot of. You actually had to know how to sing. That's correct. No auto tune. You actually knew you had to know how to sing. You know the way it should be. For recordings, for just one takes. North Shore definitely has an advantage because they were the, they're the only ones that were around in the. Look at this. Look at this child. What is he? 18? 19? 60s. We're the grandparents, and uh, we have been singing since 1965. Back then, you had to just sing. You couldn't do any effects. <laughs> this is our style of music. Yep. We should be able to knock this out of the park. You guys suck, man. Yeah, man. All you guys suck. In the 60s, it's such a fun, free-spirited, energetic time. And I think it really actually lends to the Airs style a lot. Our group has never, ever done a 60s song before. But I know that we'll be able to pull this song together and really work hard. They will. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> And they do work hard. I'm pretty sure you're right. Back when I was in college, I sang. Is that their competition? I imagine that's their competition. That they're showing all the bands. I hope I have the right video where we actually see PTX sing. In the same acapella group with Sarah Bareilles. One of the songs in our rep was I Want You Back, which incidentally is the same song Sonos is doing this week. It's totally different from the original and from the way we did it then, so I hope she gets a kick out of it. The 60s were an innocent time. I think that the audience will go back in time and remember how hopeful the 60s were. And maybe we can get some of that hope back again. We'll start it off with a five-person group that packs a punch with ultra-modern pop. Now they're reigniting a tune by a fellow Texan that set the 60s on fire. 
performing the classic Peace of My Heart by Janis Joplin. Here's Pentatonix. Here we go. Let's get worried. recognize the song <laughs> until until I finally did recognize it. That's PTX. That's what they do. That's what they do. Kevin. See, the first judge, the guy with the glasses, he's going to bitch and moan about something. That's what I've learned about him so far. And the other two are going to say you guys were amazing. Let's see if I'm right. Nice going, Pentatonix. I know I feel good. Sean, you feel good? I would have never thought to arrange the song that way, but it actually... That's what PTX does. This is, that's, and you know what? I could definitely see how somebody would be like, oh, I didn't like that, I didn't like that, because it's so different. But that's, you gotta respect the artistry in the total swappage, is that a word? Swappage of the tone, the beat, all of it. That's PTX, it says, no, 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 I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it this way. That's PTX, still doing it today. I would have never thought to arrange the song that way, but it actually it came out real fly. Give it up one time for the flugelhorn. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, that was off the hook, man. That was great. The reggae feel and, and, and all of that was just a really great bonus to obviously a great record. Janice was an awesome vocalist and, you know, she had that grit and that grind when it came to her singing. And it was awesome. The way you guys spun it was a stone groove, my man. It was <laughs> off the hook. I loved it. All right. Sarah, what do you think? I was hoping I would fill up this page with all sorts of notes and I just was like, you know, just staring at you guys giddy the whole time. I thought that was great. Um, I, like Sean, I didn't expect the arrangement to go that way at all, and I thought mm -hmm. it was a really cool, smart choice risky. to sort of put also this risky. song into a place where you guys could really sort of make it your own. Mm -hmm. Love that phrase. That's what they do. You made it your own, man. That's what they do. Um, I, I thought, Kevin, you killed it, <laughs> um, both on trumpet <laughs> or flugelhorn or... <laughs> Great, I love it. Um, I thought you had a great groove. And I think you guys have just a really great blend. I think yeah. at some point I was kind of missing the powerhouse of your other arrangements and choices, but it's so great to know that you're versatile mm -hmm. um, and, and you did it really well. Well done. And now, Ben. 
Well, my, my favorite musical groups take risks, and sometimes they bust their ass, and sometimes they do a great job, which is what you guys just did. That was great. Like, you nailed it that time. So I, I hope that you keep taking risks, because sometimes you miss and sometimes you don't, but it's so much more interesting uh, when you nail it. Every once in a while, you guys want to rush, and, and this time it wasn't very often, but there was a moment that you could have slowed. And there it is. And there it is with that guy. I don't know what it is with him. Look, look, this Kirsty's face is like, oh, this guy again with the bullshit. <laughs> guy knows nothing. Wait till he sees what we are uh, two or three years from now. Wonder what that judge is thinking now. Anyway, <laughs> I knew, I knew, you know, he, he cannot go a whole, he, cannot, he can't just talk about anything just only good. Gotta throw it in there. All right. That's him. I've learned. I've, I'm learning right away about this guy. Rush. And and this time it wasn't very often. But there was a moment that you could have slowed down a bit, and that was on the come ons. Come. Could have just waited a little bit to give us a downbeat, and I think it would have won there. Avi, great bass singing. I mean, his deep voice sounded awesome. Overall, it just really worked. You didn't stay precious to the 60s version, and it won for you that time. Yeah. Nice work. Okay, we'll find out soon if you're moving forward. Thanks, Pentatonix. When we come back, two more vocal bands go retro on back-to-back -back 60s classics. We're one step closer to the elimination on the sing-off. I can't believe I never, I never even heard of this, <laughs> this, uh, this show. Never. So weird. And I've, you know, we we have definitely watched lots of, you know, singing contest type shows. Never the single. Anyway, that would have been crazy had I had I actually watched these shows. And and my first comment that I ever read about PTX would have been, "You need to check out this group PTX." I would have been like, "Oh my God, that's right. I I, I do know who PTX is." So anyway, it, it just it was more fun that way. I had no clue who PTX was. So anyway, guys, there we go. We we just we're gonna go down. Uh, you know, exciting. I don't even know if they won, and no one's told me if they won or didn't win. Shh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Uh, and we'll see what happens as we go and finish this all the way to the end. I think there's like twelve or thirteen performances. So we're on number three. So it's gonna be a while. Anyway, guys, there you have it. PTX, piece of my heart, you know, doing it PTX style, uh, of where you're like, what song is this? <laughs> oh, that's what they're doing. That's what they do to you. That's what they do to you. All right, guys, we'll just keep going. That's it. We're done for now. Take care. Peace out. Have a good night.